I had very high expectations on what the program would offer me in terms of practical and theoretical knowledge. And uh, therefore, I was ready to enter OQ and try to do my best and earn as much knowledge as possible. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Raham al Maskari. Today we are joined here with Arwa al Haddabi, an intern with the Adad program that has been working in the environment department for the past couple of months and recently joined sustainability department at corporate OQ. So let's learn more about Arwa's journey, the details about Adad's program, and all the tips and tricks that she could give for future interns. So Arwa, tell us about yourself. Hi Riham, I'm very glad to be here today. I'm a student at the German University of Technology in Oman. I'm currently studying environmental engineering and through this program at Dad, I have joined OQ to train with them for a year and uh, learn about the industry that is oil and gas and hopefully gives me some experience for my future. All right, all right, Zoro, that's very nice. So let's go back to the beginning. How did you apply for the Adad internship program? Well, Adad as a program, it's uh, fairly new. So I did not have uh, a lot of information about it. Our university has sent us an application and I filled it out, sent my CV. And through that, I was accepted. Mm -hmm. And then I did an, uh, an exam, an IQ test All right. and a personality test. And I guess they liked my personality. <laughs> <laughs> so I passed and I was in. That's, that's nice. Let's go back to the I was in. How did you feel when you received the news? Well, Raham, I was very excited. Um, I saw this as a great opportunity, of course, to get an inside look in the industries of Oman. I had very high expectations on what the program would offer me in terms of practical and theoretical knowledge. And uh, therefore, I was ready to enter OQ and try to do my best and earn as much knowledge as possible. Did you ever feel like you'd go work at OQ? Well, after I trained here, um, I really want to join the company in the future after I graduate. That's nice. I think it's a very good environment to work in. It is very. Yes. That's correct. So how did you prepare yourself for this journey at OQ? Well, to be honest, uh, I didn't have a lot of uh, information about OQ as a company. I knew the basics. So first thing I did is I went to uh, their website and uh, tried to find out about uh, OQ as a company and its assets. I was especially interested in their petrochemical plants in Sahar and how those processes work. But mainly I wanted to know about the environment team role in OQ and how they manage such big operation, environmentally speaking, because my, uh, my major is environmental engineering. Okay, that's good. So tell us about your experience so far from the day you joined up to now. Honestly, my experience so far has been nothing short of incredible. I have started my internship in MAF, Mina Al Fahir, and stayed for a month there. And then I was fortunate enough to go to Sahar port, uh, where I was amazed on the complexity of such a place to run such a place it's so huge okay. i have been lucky to have such a supportive team that guided me through the months there my supervisor mazin al badi and yunus al sadi okay. has uh, constructed a training plan for me that included understanding every process in the refinery of course generally because it's very complex yeah but i uh, tried to understand as much as i could grasp the information yes uh, then i went through the main subjects that concern uh, the environment team and uh, those are emissions and uh, air pollution control, waste management, soil contamination, groundwater monitoring, and much, much more. You feel like you got a hands-on experience? Yes, of course. All this knowledge has been overwhelming in the beginning yeah. because it was too much. But uh, as uh, time went by, it was very enjoyable because there's always something to learn each day. There's always something to do. And the team there is always eager to help and answer my questions. I had a very positive experience, honestly, that really built my confidence in the environment field. And that is so nice that you got the opportunity to visit maths, Sahar, which brings us to our second point here, Dubai. I see Dubai. So <laughs> can you tell us more about Jebka? What was this program all about? Your experience? What did you do there? Jebka has been a surprise for us. All the ADA trainees have been invited by OQ to see the conference there. It was such a good opportunity and uh, we have been lucky to be there for three days in Dubai. 
We got to mingle and network with other students from different Gulf countries and we traded knowledge and experiences. We also got to work uh, as a team with them to solve a case study That's nice. and present it in front of some major players in the chemical and petrochemical uh, industry, Okay. which was very intimidating to be honest. But it was worth it because we got their feedback and comments. You got the exposure that you needed. Exactly. Yeah. We also got to visit Expo 2020, which was a big highlight for us. That's good. Yes. You guys are lucky you got the chance to go there. Yeah, we were. <laughs> All right. So um, rating your experience so far, what skills have you learned and how did you benefit? One of the biggest skills I've learned is uh, to critically think about the processes that were already in place in uh, the refinery okay. and how it could be better. Mm -hmm. So how can we reduce waste? How can we reduce uh, emissions and so on? As a student, um, we have to work extra hard because we don't have that background knowledge true, true. and we have to learn about the processes themselves and then how to improve them. Even though communication was a bit of a challenge in the beginning, but people are always there to help and support. Uh, so we got through that pretty well. Also, I would add flexibility. You have to be flexible in your work. You have to be flexible in your attitude and you have to be flexible in how you deal with people and problems. Um, because there's always going to be uh, some obstacle, some uh, challenge, and you just have to work around it. You have to work through it and uh, you have to always uh, think outside the box to solve that. All right. Nice. So how did you benefit from this experience? Well, I have benefited from this training both academically and socially. Academically, I have improved immensely, mostly in my practical knowledge, as now I have an intimate knowledge of the processes here at OQ, and especially the environmental side of all of it. I have understood the challenges of an environmental engineer in a refinery and petrochemical plant, and what we can do to manage it all. Socially, I have benefited from seeing how workplace environment function and how to interact with people professionally. That was a big uh, plus for me. I'm glad that you've gained this experience and the skills that you've learned and the benefits that you've gotten really proved to be that ADAD was a very strong program for you. So let's go back to the program ending. How do you feel about this experience again? Can you summarize your nine months? Well, I would say it's a one in a lifetime experience for any student. Okay. Uh, these kind of opportunities are very rare. And I've been very, very lucky uh, to be chosen and be a part of it. Alhamdulillah. I'm also very grateful I have been chosen by OQ because they have been very focused on my training and have offered so much of their knowledge and time with me. Honestly, leaving this program at the end of June will be difficult for me as I have grown attached to the yes. work and the people here. But hopefully in the future, I'll be able to join OQ again. Inshallah, inshallah. So Arwa, this was your journey, really well spoken and I really enjoyed the time we've taken today to sit down and talk about it. And before we leave and wrap up everything, any last words you have for future interns who'd love to join the ADAD program? I think any student who will enter this program will benefit immensely from it, especially all the practical knowledge they're going to gain from it and uh, also how to work in an office environment, how to deal with people. These are very important skills for any student to learn and it will help them in the future when they're trying to get a job and they're applying for a job. They will have better advantages over other applicants and that's always a good thing to have right now. Exactly. <laughs> it's like something to buff up your CV, your weapon. Yes. So thank you so much Arwa again for your time. That thank you for having me here. Always, always welcome. And thank you all for tuning in and listening into our podcast. See you in the next session. This is Reham Al-Maskiri signing off.